Uncle Samuel left $300,000 to his three beneficiaries. How much money will each beneficiary receive if they are dividing the money according to the ratio of quarter to two-thirds to one-twelfth? Currently, this is a part-to-part -part ratio, like comparing the number of males to females in a class. But we can turn this into a part-to-whole ratio, which would be comparing the number of females to total students. So, in our case, we will be using the whole number of one to turn this into a part-to-whole ratio. We will be using equivalent ratios to solve this proportion. So, one quarter to two thirds to one twelfth to one is equal to something to something to something to 300,000. We know that our whole is 300,000. So now we need to look at the scale factor. How can we get from one to 300,000? One times 300,000 gives us 300,000. Now, because this is an equivalent ratio, we will use the same scale factors for all other parts. One quarter times 300,000. So, numerator times numerator is 300,000. And then denominator by denominator, four times, really remember there's that invisible one because it's a whole number, gives us 300,000 over four. We, of course, remember that fractions are also representations of divisions. So, 300,000 divided by 4 is $75,000. We can add that to our ratio. We'll calculate the amount of money for the other two beneficiaries using the exact same process. 2 thirds times 300,000. So 2 times 300,000 is 600,000. 3 times invisible 1 is 3. This gives us 600,000 over 3. We do that final division. And that gets us a quotient of $200,000. Finally, 1 12th times 300,000. 1 times 300,000 is 300,000. 12 times the 1 of the whole number gives us 12. So 300,000 over 12, or when we divide, 25,000. This means the beneficiaries received $75,000, $200,000, and $25,000. $25,000 respectively.